welcome to the Blowing Artist on this lovely sunny but cold day in February. Known when I filmed the first bit and the sea just came right in and because I only had two little dogs I thought well, you could get swept out so we came down here and then we couldn't even get on the beach at the beginning this is the road into it calm down a little bit look at that sea right up to the road coming up to the houses and then when we finally did walk around it was just yeah it was just like this it was really bad so that was the end of that and I ended up just sitting in the car and drawing the cliffs and the hills and that was that okay so this is what I ended up doing instead I sat in the car and did a couple of these were sketches that I covered in ink and they are up in Evena looking out towards going to Limavadi did them and now do you know what this was a really nice sketch and then I thought to myself oh, what would it look like if I covered it in paint and I don't think it looks anywhere near as nice what it did when it was a sketch I did that when I filmed the footage of the sea coming up th through under the bridge and um, we sat up in the car park that were near the toilets and I just did that is the grass is going up to the fence and then behind that fence is the railway line going through the mountain at Mussenden Temple. And there's, there you go. There should be a little tunnel there. I should put that in. <laughs> I should just put that in now. Tunnel just here. Do, 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 do. And the train goes underneath there, in there. That was a sketch as well that I... Mm, did I prefer that as a sketch? I would say this is not finished. It does sort of capture the day. It definitely captures the windiness, I think. And that's what I ended up doing. Those four sketches. That's not too bad on a day where you couldn't get onto the beach. It's been a few days like that. It's been a very stormy winter. Now, I'll put this out there as a, a trailer for another video. This is a sketch. This one as well. That's This is a sketch out of my friend's window. And she lives in a great place called Glenullen. Okay, I thought I'd better explain this little story a bit better. I was mangling all of the words and the names to do with this legend of this little place. Right, I'm going to do another video about that little sketch and I'm going to make some other sketches and a bigger piece. And it's all to do with, it's a, it's a real story that happened to a chieftain that lived and died there. It spurned the whole novel of Dracula. Bram Stoker, Dublin author, visited County Derry and he got the inspiration from that story of Abertach, Chieftain Abertach. Well anyway, this guy <laughs> sounds a bit like a nuisance. Uh, the locals don't know what happened but they got the local chieftain next to them to come in and kill this guy. He did. He was buried like a chieftain, standing up. Next day, he came back, really angry. And he said, right, all you lot, you're all killed me, did you? Right then, 
drain your blood from your wrists and he put it into a bowl, drank it. This chief, they got the chief done again to come back, kill him again, put him back in. I think they got him on about the fourth try. A bit like that, um, the Russian monk fella. Oh, well, there's another name. Anyway, when they actually killed him, they used the branch of a yew tree fashioned into a sword. There you go. There's the legend of the stake through the heart. They also buried him opposite to where a chieftain should be buried as they flipped him round and buried him feet to the sky, head to the ground, buried him upside down. Um... That was the influence of Bram Stoker's Dracula and who would have thought Buffy would have come from that <laughs> and all the other stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some um, more sketches. I, I don't know how close I'm going to get because these things are quite... Um, I know they're not, you know, the logical part of my brain says that's not real, but... They have actually tried to look into this legend and I think a team from a university came up to do some research on it. All of the equipment they used kept breaking. People were turning up and cars were failing. The chains were breaking when they were trying to lift the stone. Cutting gear was failing. So I know these things are supposed to be legend, but there are some unexplained things that happen around there. So you don't really want to tempt fate because, well, my friend always says it's very unlucky stuff as well. It's not a good legend. It's not a happy, nice legend where you say a few words and something nice will happen to you. You know, it's the complete opposite. So you stay away. Anyway, I'm going to do some pictures of that. And here it is just to show you. This is the bigger version of one of the sketches that I did. Okay, I'll zoom in on that. I'll do it properly. And this is a bigger painting of the windy day, looking at Benavina from the car instead of the beach. And I wonder if it was meant to be, because I'm really happy with this sort well you know something came out of our day i should date that shouldn't i i should i'll put a proper picture up okay i've got a page here that i I really don't like and I'm going to go over it and why don't I like it well it's quite a few years old I was doing studies for clouds clearly I absolutely hate them <laughs> it was just something that I was doing for a bigger picture and I was just I was sitting in the front of the house drawing lots of clouds and seeing how they were formed more than the colours of them but I every time I turn these pages I really don't like looking at them I got rid of one there as well i just thought i might get rid of that as well if you don't like a page in your sketchbook get rid of it because at the end of the day it's yours and sometimes these turn out to be quite good pages when you go over them because you're not very precious with what was there before and sometimes going over something adds just a lovely layer of color that you just wouldn't have if you go straight onto the page it gives it a bit of depth so i would definitely say get rid of the pages you don't like and i'm going to do this really quickly because this is just so ugly I hate the fact that the <laughs> clouds i've done are just like white and gray and black not usually me i think i was just going for shape but then color is shape isn't it so kelly what were you thinking today is very gray so i'm actually going to look out the window there are a few pinks and, and pale browns my goodness, it's a very grey, very wintry day. And I'm just going to do the view out the window, focus on one tree with lots of birds' nests in it. I love the shapes of trees in winter, as well as the really subtle colours in the 
lice. Beautiful differences in the greys. So here's hoping I can recreate some of them. in the natural light rather than the studio and it's still very wintry here today very wintry you are i'll pan up and show you look at this for rain it was sideways rain before it's uh, uh it's coming down look at that we, we, we've got we've got a swimming pool in front of the house <laughs> yeah that's um huge puddle of water and then there's one over there the, the crows are having a party there they are look at this boys look at this let's go and have a wee dip in this pool well anyway i hope everybody who's watching are nice and warm and dry Sorry, I apologise already because I don't have my microphone with me, but this is what I'm drawing. February morning, that's the farm. That's the Lexi. <laughs> they like to go down through this hedge, see if she does it. And then they like to drop down into this river and have a little sniffy sniff along the edges here. Nope, she's not going in. Santa's not going in either, so this is what I drew. Very quickly. Not finished. I don't have all the colours. Terrible colours in fact. I actually think I picked up a, a portrait set. The colours are full of pinks and pretty much zero landscape colours, no greys. Quite, quite a mild morning.
which is lovely because the last few days have been freezing and snowy. I'm going to finish up here, do a little bit more and go back to the studio. Okay, this is the finished one and here's another one coming up and this was the sunrise that morning. Well, the weather did improve for a bit and I did get out and managed to do some lovely oil pastels which I'll show you in the next video plus we've had lots of snow and storms so I'll see you soon and thanks for joining bye bye